Art for me is about having fun. It's not my job, it's my lifestyle. I can't look at things without thinking, could I make a piece of art out of that? Creativity is allowing yourself to make mistakes. Art is knowing which ones to keep. Hello, my name is Nathan Wyburn, I'm from Emmerdale and I go to Ewick University in Cardiff. I study fine art and earlier this year I was asked to go on to Britain's Got Talent so I auditioned and got through to the semi-final. I decided to paint with Marmite because I like to play off the love or hate pen, so I chose characters that people would either love or hate. The first character I chose was Simon Cowell, because he's quite a controversial character, and then on the Britsk Talent Show I chose Michael McIntyre, because it was you weren't sure whether he was going to be a good judge or a bad judge. Some people like his jokes, some people don't. Um, my artist inspirations are Rolf Harris, Andy Warhol and Vic Muniz. They all work with unusual mediums and I like the fact that you can take something every day and make a piece of art out of it. Um, for the past two years I've been focusing on using different mediums, unusual sorts of mediums such as the Marmite, chocolate, ketchup, candles, soil, snow, absolutely anything that you find in everyday life that you wouldn't necessarily think to create a piece of art with. It's been sort of the focus of my work since I've been in university. My favourite piece I've created and the one that's probably got most attention in the press and on television is probably the huge Simon Cowell Marmite on Toast portrait. Basically due to the fact it's the original one and it's the one that's got me everywhere that I am today. I've had a little bit of backlash during the time of using food in my artwork because some people say that it's a waste of good food but the majority of the time it's just sauces and spreads that you couldn't necessarily eat on its own anyway and after it's done I usually donate it to pigs and horses so they get to eat it instead of it just being thrown in the bin. I thought it would be interesting while I'm here in Ebervale today to go back and speak to my mother and my old comprehensive school teachers about the origins of my passion for art, as it will help me during my interviews with press and media. When you got the call to go on Britain's Got Talent, that was a dream for us as a family. And although you didn't get through to the finals, all the family really are still very proud. The type of work that he's got into is mainly from me saying to him when he was younger, because he was a fussy eater, they can stop playing with your food. And he took that to the extreme. It's all become really mad. I can't keep up with it at the moment. I don't know where he is from one week to the next. Um, in school with your, your art teacher always appraising you when we went up for parents' evening. and. Hi Nathan. It's um, great to see you again. You too. Doesn't seem five years since you were in my year group. No, it's crazy. Um, seems all to have gone very, very quickly, but since then you've become quite famous, haven't you? I've said the work for myself, yeah. You nearly didn't take art. Mm -hmm. I came very close not to taking it. And um, I'm glad in a way that I sort of nagged you and pushed you. <laughs> um, and said, you know, please don't give up because you have definitely got the flair to get somewhere and he pursued it further and obviously the rest is history really.
currently working on this large-scale portrait of Murdoch, made up of small photographs of all the celebrities, politicians, families of murdered victims and whatnot that were phone hacks during the whole News of the World scandal. And um, basically, when viewed from a distance, it'll make up look at Murdoch's portrait and it'll hopefully it'll stand out quite well. Very proud. That's good. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is 